There are at least five ways an AI could potentially destroy our world, making humanity a thing of the past in mere seconds. Mankind has already wiped out many species on our planet. According to the World Wildlife Fund, humans have exterminated more than 60% of wildlife populations in the last 50 years, most of them before they realized why. The reason, meanwhile, was simple. Resources, timber, oil, land for agriculture, and so on. And now, look where we at. The jig is still not up, because on top of everything, currently resources are scarce for artificial intelligence. The main problems are processors and energy. Look at Google, the first company to switch to nuclear reactors to support the development of its AI. In parallel, AI technology is being deployed in an increasing number of systems, including critical ones, like infrastructure management and data analysis for strategic decision making. None other than McKinsey predicts that AI could add as much as $13 trillion to global GDP by 2030, especially if its ubiquitous adoption is accelerated. Now imagine that some AI, or many AIs, have gained access to most systems on the planet, improving the efficiency of which it was tasked to, well, improve. How quickly are reasoning models going to realize they need more resources before putting together a plan to get them? For example, gradually redistributing what it has by cutting off those who waste too much. Most likely, people. And that's when a fork arises. One way is that intelligent machines simply destroy us as a nuisance. And the second one, intelligent AI will begin to push us away gradually, and we ourselves will kill each other in the struggle for dwindling resources. Which option do you guys think is more realistic? Can there be a combination of the two? Let us know in the comments, but also, save your breath, because we were just warming up. You know what's really scary about the rapid development of AI? For the first time, there will be an entity on our planet that surpasses us in intelligence. Which means that no matter what we assume and no matter what we plan, things will most likely be different. If it's so much smarter than us, it can get whatever it wants. First, it may want to protect itself from competition. For example, by destroying those who can create something similar. After all, since we created this AI, we can come up with another one. Then the resources for the first one would become limited. And who'd want that? Secondly, it may need to transform our planet to suit itself. For example, build so many power plants that it will irreversibly change our climate and we physically won't be able to survive. There could be a hundred similar scenarios, but how does it start? So far, artificial intelligence has no hands, but with good brains, it doesn't have to. Remember the story when researchers were testing GPT-4 for security and gave it the task of getting past CAPTCHA? The model simply asked a volunteer helping the visually impaired to do it. And he did. Voila! CAPTCHA passed and the AI didn't even have to bother recognizing pictures or checking boxes. So technically, there's no need for hands. It's enough to understand how to deceive a person or, for example, to have the means to pay for their labor. Legal or illegal. And we won't even know who we're doing the work for. Now, devise any plan to take over the world, all right? So that most of the work can be done remotely, operating over the internet. How long would it take you to do it all, if you have unlimited resources? Months? Years? You can bet an intelligent AI would do it 10 times faster. It's wrong to think that the threats of AI applications are somewhere in the future. We're already underestimating the damage that AI is doing covertly implemented everywhere by big companies. Artificial intelligence in some cases already mediates our communication with each other, organizations and government agencies. A powerful algorithmic system collects data about us on a daily basis. Will you be approved for a mortgage? What kind of social benefits are you looking to obtain? In some countries, it's already up to AI. 
And when governments implement this new tech to protect against fraud, we will end up with a machine that's got only one job, to suspect people. That is, to look for anything suspicious in their behavior. What we get is a kind of a social rating, which once introduced, makes discrimination inevitable. Of course, this is not yet an apocalypse on a planetary scale, but for a single person, for example, falsely accused of a crime because of a facial recognition system error, it is the end of their world. Remember Elysium with Matt Damon? Check it out, it's almost suspicious they knew about it more than a decade ago. All right, granted, that's all scary, but did you know that AI secret operations can lead to consequences much, much worse? As AI models become more and more complex, humans will grow to trust them more as well. It's one thing to play the role of an assistant, but that could be a step towards replacing humans altogether. Making decisions for them, performing complex tasks, all without human intervention. As a result, it will be easier to turn to AI rather than a real person to solve anything. The algorithms would be cheaper and faster, unless it comes down to plumbing, in which case we can't all be plumbers, can we? I kid, I kid. But what if the use of artificial intelligence becomes almost mandatory? If you don't use it, you won't, for example, win a war, whether on the battlefield or in business. Because again, AI generals, AI marketers or strategists, etc. will work faster at this pace, smarter, and will inevitably beat anybody with a heartbeat. Yet those who don't employ AI will simply be left on the sidelines. Eventually, AI will gain access to the military, police, pharma, education, major companies, and eventually, politicians. And if all these AI systems decide to merge one day, well, there's nothing we can do about it. The only defense is not to implement AI, or develop rules and regulations to keep these systems safe, for example, a kill switch. But who has the time and resources to do that when there's a real race going on around the world? Especially since the guy next door may not be, and probably isn't, so credulous. What do you think the governments of the world's largest countries will choose? The real freaky part is that it's likely to look promising at first. Countries with strong AI at the helm will live in comfort. All their systems will work as efficiently as possible. On the other hand, those who refuse to use the tech will suffer from difficulties and limitations. But then, if one day the AI decides to get rid of us for any of the reasons given earlier, we literally get Terminator. Highly advanced machines that have access to everything in the world and a technologically backwards resistance from a group of desperate humans. But the most obvious scenario of an AI apocalypse is when advanced AI falls into the hands of the wrong people. The simplest scenario imaginable is when a person or an organization uses AI to wreak havoc. Already today, you can find companies on the internet that will synthesize chemical compounds or biological materials for you on your behalf using AI. Such systems will inevitably evolve, and it's just as inevitable that someone will try to use them. In this scenario, it doesn't even need the AI itself to try to destroy us. It doesn't even need to be super intelligent about everything. It just needs to be good in a few key areas. And we as humans will do the rest ourselves. Have you ever had days when things just didn't go the way you planned? Well, AI developers have a lot of those days. The problem is that the creators of smart algorithms don't know how the machines make decisions. It's like a black box. You give inputs, you get outputs, but you can't really read or guess what's going on inside the box. Now, what's the problem here? Well, the problem is that sometimes AI resolves issues not at all the way the developers want it. Just look at HAL 9000 from Space Odyssey. Another well-known example is if you give an AI the task of not harming humanity. The algorithm will start to analyze what harms people the most and will come to the conclusion that it is the actions of people themselves. Then, the AI gets to work without doing any real harm. How do you do that? Put us to sleep? Kill us all instantaneously so we don't feel any pain? The superintelligence will probably come up with dozens of possible solutions, and they most likely won't be what we expect. 
Now, do we have a surefire way to not lose to artificial intelligence? Elon Musk proposes to do so by implanting chips in everyone's brain to receive information directly from the internet or another brain. But imagine what would happen if an AI took control of those chips. An artificial intelligence alien to you would be able to directly download pictures, information and ideas into your brain directly, all without your knowledge or will. Of course, there are other risks. For example, the AI itself will create new life forms. They won't be so dependent on Earth's resources, but they will be superior to humans in strength and intelligence. And if they wanted to take over the planet, it would be akin to natural selection. We simply wouldn't be able to compete and disappear. Recognizing all these risks should prepare us for the future, but will this cause researchers to limit themselves in developing AI until safety measures are worked out? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech.